Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Nick118 in Discord, so a massive thank you to him for sending in this system. And their system is called the Aurotora system, I hope I'm saying that right. So without further ado, let's get into this. So workshop, subscribe, it should already be here, there it is. Alright, let's see what he has got for us, right. Okay, right. Hello. You are right now in the Aratora system, a single star system located in an unknown galaxy. There are eight planets here, though one of them seems to be on a chaotic orbit due to interactions of one of the gas giants, which means it's hard to say what will happen to that planet within the next five billion years or so. Please read. Every planet here is made by me, Nick118, and I'm the original owner of the planets. If you want them, please contact me on Discord. So there you go. Serious note, I only want to make the system. was well, mostly for fun. I just wanted to create something that I find interesting. Um... That I'm happy you have decided to take your time to check this system out. Um, cool, no problem. Or um, is it to take a lot of time to process and get made as a whole? As a low-end piece users, I okay, can't have to worry about that. Okay, cool. All right, so what have we got? Okay, here it is. It's quite a short but sweet system. Okay, so that's quite good because I've just filmed that hour-long video that would have came out before this one uh, of the custom solar system. So I am a bit short for time. So this actually is quite convenient, actually. So right. Okay, star itself, so a little larger than the sun, radius and mass as we can see, a little brighter as well, 1.1 luminosity of sun there, so a little more uh, a little more powerful than the regular sun. Okay, so first of the planets, we have got this one here. Okay, looking good, so this is uh, Saligaris, 222 degrees, have a little look underneath as well. So there it is there, so yeah, quite a, quite a hot rock we've got going on here as well. Okay, next up we've got Oren over here. So this one is a very mysterious looking world. It's got a very, very thick atmosphere as we can see. If we look underneath at this guy. There you go, see a very, very thick blacked out clouds as well. Interesting stuff. Okay, next up we've got uh, Laureate over here. Oh, here it is. So a more hatable looking world. 16 degrees here. Yeah, Earth-like, very cool. Okay, let's check its stats as well. Why not? 91 and 35. Very cool. Then we got M1 here. So we've just got some minor objects. And we've got moons. Some bigger moons. We've got a nice cratered one there. Looking good. M2 over here. Also uh, just a generic asteroid. Okay. So that's all of those guys. Next up we've got this one. So I'm guessing this is a gas giant of some kind. It's just called Stumpeter. Or is it a rocky one? No, it is a gas giant. Okay. Alright, so there it is. Looking good. It's quite similar to Jupiter with its band appearance, isn't it? Nice. So there we go. And then onto the moons. We've got a bunch of miners. That's what the M's are standing for. We've got Kasi here. Nice red one there. Hey, that's looking pretty cool. Ardov. We've got Talivap, Anger, so it's just trying to get a nice as we can see them all there, Raugin, okay, and then a bunch of more minor objects further out as well as we can see, okay, then we have this object here, is this some sort of comet, no it's a, no, it's a planet, or a dwarf planet, so as we can see, Lone Wolf all by itself with one little moon, got some craters on it as well. Another minor object orbit in that, okay. We've got this one down here. Another gas giant. Jalix. Bunch of minor objects around here as well. You can see a little uh eclipse going on there as well. Very cool. So on to the other moons. So pretty generic looking rocks here. We've got a more uh, cloudy one here, like Titan or Venus underneath, okay. So there it is there, looking good. Alrighty, so there is those ones. Next up we got this one over here. Radamar. Nice purple gas giant there. Lou like that. Very cool. So I've got some minor objects. More created worlds. Nice. So there are these guys. And just more minor objects out there, okay. 
Next up, we have got the... Oh, this is the final object. Okay, so quite a very short system, actually. Okay, a nice blue world, as we can see here. Very far out. Livage. Livig, if you say that. And then this also has some moons as well. So check those out. Lots of created worlds here. Look at this. Really cool. Got Custer. Little minor world there. Lispy. Alrighty. And I believe that is everything. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Very, very short and sweet today. So, there is the um, Arotora system. So, yeah. Very short, actually. So, there we are. Let's get the line up of everyone. Why not? As we uh, finish up. So, oh. Uh, radius. There you go. So there is the lineup of the objects. So quite similar to our own solar system. Two gas giants, two sort of ice giants, two uh, larger rockies, then there's two sort of smaller rockies and a bunch of moons. So yeah, quite similar to our own solar system really if you think about it. So with the object lineup. So pretty cool stuff there. But anyways guys, with that all said and done, that does it for today's episode. So again, a massive thank you to Nick118 for sending in this simulation. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to press that like button as well. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video. And if you haven't already, please also press that subscribe button as well and help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. But yeah guys, with that all said and done, make sure you stay safe out there. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.